Hello everyone from our previous session we now know that numbers that are in the form of ratio of integers are called as rational numbers and decimal form of every rational number is either ends that is terminating or it will goes on repeating at certain digits that is non terminating for example 3 by 2 is a rational number and decimal form of 3 by 2 is equal to 1.5 which terminates at 5 So this is terminating decimal form of three by two. Let's take one more number, say two by three, and decimal form of two by three is equal to zero point six 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 six, and it will go on forever with the repetition of digit six. So this is called as non-terminating decimal form of two by three. Now just look at the numbers. Can you tell me decimal form of which fraction is terminating and which is not terminating? Well, to answer this. normally you would divide numerator with denominator to get decimal form and then you'll say the decimals that ends are terminating and the decimals that doesn't end or repeats are non terminating so on dividing numerator with denominator we can see that the first five fractions are terminating and the next five fractions are non terminating or it repeats at some digits For example the first fraction is terminating and it terminates at 3 and the next fraction is terminating at 5 and so on and the rational number which is not terminating here the first fraction is 23 by 6 where the digit 3 is repeating forever and the fraction 5 by 63 so here the digits 079365 repeats so we know that on dividing we can say that whether a number is terminating or non terminating but simultaneously you must have realized that dividing numerator with denominator in each case and then figure out which terminates and which doesn't is very time consuming process so there has to be another logical approach to this problem where without dividing numerator by denominator we'll be able to say a number is terminating or non terminating so let's first factorize the numerator and denominator in each case and i hope you remember how can we factorize a number so here 15 can be written as 3 into 5 and 50 can be expressed as 2 into 5 into 5 so here we can cancel 5 and we can again write this fraction as 3 upon 2 into 5 similarly 3 by 20 can be written as 3 upon 2 into 2 into 5 that is 3 upon 2 is 2 times so we can write 2 raised to 2 into 5 Similarly I can do this for every number. So after factorizing the numerator and denominator both we can see that 15 by 50 can be written as 3 upon 2 into 5, 3 by 20 can be written as 3 upon 2 raised to 2 into 5 and so on. So can you see that denominators of the fractions that terminates there we have only 2, 5 or the product of 2 and 5 with some power and please know that they also follow the pattern where the base is the same that is 2 and 5 and the variation is only in the powers of 2 and 5 for example in the first fraction which terminates there we have product of 2 and 5 where 2 is with power 1 and 5 is also with power 1 here there is no 2 but remember with every 5 there is a 2 with power 0 as we know that any number raised to 0 is equal to always 1 so this is also product of 2 and 5 but 2 with power 0 and 5 is with power 2 and the fraction 25 by 20 is equal to 5 upon 2 raised to 2 and there is no 5 and also remember that with every 2 there is a 5 with power 0 so this is also product of 2 and 5 similarly 17 by 340 is equal to 1 upon 2 raised to 2 into 5 where 2 is with power 2 and 5 is with power 1 so denominators of the fractions that terminates we can see there is product of 2 and 5 with some powers of 2 and 5 whereas if we can see the fractions that are non terminating there is no 2 5 or the product of 2 and 5 please note that there is only one thing that we have to keep in mind that is in denominator of any fraction even if we have only 5 or powers of 5 only 2 or some powers of 2 or the product of 2 and 5 with some power 
then that fraction is said to be having terminating decimal form and if there is no 2 no 5 or product of 2 and 5 then that fraction is said to be having non terminating decimal form so you might be thinking why i have taken 2 raised to 0 with 5 and 5 raised to 0 with 2 well this is only to make a general form of 2 raised to m into 5 raised to n where m and n can be 0 1 2 3 4 and so on and note that m and n shouldn't be negative so here we conclude that without actually dividing numerator by denominator we can say that a number is terminating or non terminating that is if denominator is of the form 2 raised to m into 5 raised to n where m and n should be whole numbers then that fraction is said to be terminating and if it is not of the form 2 raised to m into 5 raised to n then it is non terminating so now as we know that how can we identify a number is terminating or non terminating so let's try to solve a problem which says that state whether the rational numbers 11 by 30 and 13 by 625 will have terminating or non terminating decimal form. So let's take the first fraction that is 11 by 30 and try to answer the question. So here we know that we'll have to first factorize the numerator and denominator. So as we can see 11 can be factorized so I can write 11 as it is and 30 can be written as 2 into 3 into 5. So denominator is equal to 2 into 3 into 5. So now can you tell me this fraction is terminating or non terminating? So since we can see that denominator is not of the form 2 raised to m into 5 raised to n. So we can say that the fraction 11 by 30 is non terminating. Now let's take the other fraction that is 13 by 625. So as we can see again 13 can be factorized. So I can write 13 as it is. I can write 625 as 5 raised to 4. So here in denominator we have only 5 with power 4 but we also know that with every 5 we have a 2 with power 0. So now can you tell me this fraction is terminating or non terminating? So here we can see that denominator of 13 by 625 is equal to 2 raised to 0 into 5 raised to 4 is of the form 2 raised to m into 5 raised to n. So yes the fraction 13 by 625 is terminating. I hope now we must have understood that how can we find a number is terminating or non terminating. So let's go back and look at what all we have learnt in this session. The complete course for grade 10 CBSE Math is available in pendrive and SD card format. Click on the link to buy now. To know more, you may also check the description box below.